Earlier today, someone asked the question of whether they should bulk or cut, and um, you know, I thought about this more, and I figure why not just make a video about it um, and my opinion on it. So, um, <clears throat> first off, you have you have three categories of people, and um, for two of them, it's going to be really, really obvious. So, you have the people who are obese; um, they're carrying way too much body fat. And um, for those people, it's it's obvious, like, they should probably cut. Um, you know, if you're, if you're carrying around excess body fat, you, you have less insulin sensitivity, um, you're not going to get the same effect from training and uh, carbohydrate consumption um, that someone who's lean will get. And so actually... Um, if you're carrying excess body fat, it actually will slow your your progress down a little bit. Um, so you know, in that case, um, kind of like, hey, like, if you, I, I'm not trying to be mean. I know someone's gonna freak out because everyone's politically correct these days because they're afraid to say what they actually mean. But like, let's face it, if you're fat, like, it's not like you don't know that you're fat. Like, when I was 236 pounds, I knew that I was 236 pounds. It's not like I looked in the mirror and I was like, oh, I look great. Um, so, yeah, at, at 236 pounds, I was well aware, like, hmm, yeah, I'm carrying around a lot of excess body weight here that um, I don't need. So, the thing to do was, was to cut. Um, so, it's really obvious for that group. The other group that's really obvious for is the guys who are super, super skinny. You're, like, way too lean. Um, you know, <laughs> I'll, I'll make fun of myself again. Uh, you know, when I graduated from high school, I was five foot ten, and I weighed about 110 pounds. Uh, yeah, at that point, you should bulk. Um, I don't care if you're skinny fat, you should bulk. Um, you know, okay, yeah, I yeah, can't see my abs. I'm 110 pounds, I can't see my abs because I'm skinny fat. You should put on some muscle. Don't even worry about losing the body fat. If your body fat stayed identical, but you gained some muscle, you actually would just look leaner by default of the fact that your lean body mass went up. Um, so if your fat mass stayed the same, and your lean body mass goes up, actually your body fat percentage went down. So the group that is a gray area, and this is the one that, that's tricky, um, is the guys who are kind of like in the middle. It's a hard call. Uh, so, you know, maybe they're 15 to 20% body fat. And at that point, you're kind of in that gray area. So you're not super lean, definitely not super lean, but you're not obese, you're not, you're not fat. Um, what do you do? And my thought is you do neither. That's, that's my, my opinion here. Do neither. So, um, don't try to bulk, don't try to cut. Um, instead what you'll do is actually try to maintain. So whatever weight you're at, let's, let's just say that you're 175 pounds and your 20% body fat. Um, what you're gonna do is, uh, people will call this recomp. I absolutely hate that term, but I guess it's good enough. Uh, the point being, uh, try to maintain your weight of 175 pounds, but then just try to shift the balance um, so that you're going to be losing body fat um, and, and still gaining muscle at the same time but trying to keep your weight constant. I think of it as growing into a weight. Um, that's the way I think of it. That's the way I've always tried to, to move weight classes, actually. Um, so this is another really unhealthy thing. So um, do as I say, not as I do. Uh, but a good way for you to change weight classes, and you didn't hear it from me, because you know, this would be um, a bad thing to advise people to do, is to get fat on purpose. So like, hey, I want to move from I don't know, 150, and I, I want to get up to 175 so I can compete as a 77 kilo lifter or something. Uh, get fat. It works very well. Just pack it on. Just eat whatever you have to eat to get your weight up. And then maintain that weight, but then train your ass off um, so that you can stay at the same body weight, but yet at that same body weight, you're kind of... You're maintaining body weight but you're, you're kind of bringing the lean body mass up to that point, right? So this is where your lean body mass is. This is where you, your body weight is. You put on a whole bunch of fat, 
and then you keep your body weight here and just try to close that gap till you're back to the same body fat level that you were before as far as I, I hate percentages because I think it's the most inaccurate thing um, so I like to use skin folds and um, so you know if you're at a four millimeter skin fold here and then you get way up here and you know where you are it's it's nice and juicy you got some fat to grab a hold of um, train and gain that muscle keep your body weight the same until you're back down to that four millimeter skin fold um, and that's that's the way I would approach it. Um, it's just I don't think the whole bulking cutting thing is a very good thing for long term. I don't think it works for most people. I think it works well for beginners. Beginners can do crazy shit like go mad and drink a gallon of milk a day or eat just eat shit. Yeah, beginners can eat absolute garbage. You can eat a pizza every day. Eat a pizza and a, and a protein shake after every training session and you know you'll dirty bulk um, your way up because you're a beginner and so your body's freaking out and growing muscle like no problem uh, it works really well if you're on steroids too um, you know I I really hate talking about steroids but uh, I would be remiss if I didn't point out that you know bodybuilders certainly uh, with enough T3 clen and um, you know whatever variety of anabolic agents you would like to use, probably some test base with uh, I don't know, maybe a couple orals like d -ball or something and whatever the hell these guys are using these days that makes them get to 300 pounds and look like freaks. Um, yeah, they can eat garbage because the, the drugs, the growth hormone, the clen, the T3, you know, that's keeping their body fat in check and um, and so the, the anabolic drugs that they're taking causes them to turn everything into muscle and just keep grow, 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 grow. Um, so that works for those guys. For the rest of us um, who are not genetically gifted or um, who are not beginners or are not using pharmaceutical um, enhancement, I think the bulking and cutting thing is just basically you get fat and and then you just try to lose it and end up losing more muscle. Like I don't think it comes out well. I think most of the time guys think they're going to bulk. They gain a little bit of muscle bulking, and then when they cut, they they lose that little bit of muscle. Of muscle. Um, and so what I think a better option for you to do is that uh, don't don't do a true cut. Um, move up in weight, and, and and I would do it in small ways too. Like if, let's say you weigh 150 pounds and your goal is to get to 160, like move your body weight from like 150 to 155 and then try to hold that 155 while getting stronger. Always trying to get stronger because if you're getting stronger, you're gaining muscle. Then when you get back to 155 and you feel like your body composition is good, your body fat percentage is back down again, then move from 155 to 160 and close that gap again. Um, Certainly, you can make big jumps. You can. You could you could go from a 69 kilo lifter to a 77 kilo lifter by just getting fat and then working your way to get there. Um, I don't recommend it. Like I said, do as I say, not as I do. Um, it's not like I would do that ever again. But certainly, you, you could do it. I don't think it worked very well. That's why I say not to do it. You're free to make your own decision. I'm... I'm just letting you know I didn't think it worked very well and um, I wouldn't do it a second time. So yeah, so obviously, like I said, three categories. If you're, if you're fat, if you're 236 pounds, you need to lose it. And if you're 110 pounds, um, you know, at 5 foot 10, you probably should just start eating. In fact, even if you don't lift weights, start eating. <laughs> No one's supposed to be 110 pounds at five foot ten, um, but we were poor, so we didn't we didn't have any food. Um, uh, that's actually I, I laugh and I, about it um, because I'm uncomfortable about it. So I'm really not trying to make fun of it. Um, it's just one of those awkward things where uh, it's weird sharing anything from my childhood. Um, 
because I think that people will feel bad for you. And there's nothing worse than whenever people feel bad for you. Um, so anyways, moving back to the, the next category though, the third category, that's the one where you're like 15 and 20% body fat. And I think for those guys, um, I wouldn't make uh, an effort to bulk or cut. I would just try to get as strong as you possibly can and, um, and keep your weight stable. So whatever your weight is, just try to get as strong as you possibly can at that body weight. Um, and trust me, like if you're getting stronger, you're gaining muscle. So, you know, if you go from, I don't know, 200 pounds with a 300 pound back squat and you maintain that 200 pounds and you get to a 400 pound back squat, I promise you're going to be leaner. Um, you're going to have more muscle and you're going to be leaner. You're, you're, going, to, you're going to like being 200 pounds with a 400 pound back squat. So, um, that ran on for entirely too long. So I'm sorry. Uh, post hateful comments below, because um, that's what YouTube's for, and um, you know, let me know. Uh, you know, I might not be able to respond to every single comment. Um, probably can, because no one watches this channel. But on the off chance that I miss your comment and then see it later, um, you know, let me know if you have tried these different methods of bulking and cutting, and if you hate them as much as I do. Because um, I swear, every time I tried to ever cut. I actually just lost muscle. I think I probably lost more muscle than I lost fat. <laughs> so, like, it just, well, there goes all the progress I made. Um, and that's that's a great way just to spend a whole year trying to gain a pound of muscle, right? And then you cut and lose five pounds of muscle. Um, so it, it's just, it, it's it's depressing. It's depressing. So, um, so, yeah, I don't think bulking and cutting works very well, except for the two extremes. Everybody else in the middle, just try to get as strong as you possibly can at your current body weight. And then once you get to the point where you can't seem to get any stronger, go ahead and try to move up in weight and play the same game. Hold that next body weight and just try to get as strong as you possibly can at that body weight. Um, yeah. Otherwise, ask a bodybuilder. I'm not a bodybuilder, so I, I, I encourage everyone just to get as strong as you possibly can. You'll look better, and girls like guys who are strong.